time for your Smart Money Monday. You know, everyone knows it costs a lot to raise a family. And today we're going to get some money saving tips for all the families out there from Keen Santos. He is with Bank of Hawaii. Hello to you, Keen. Hi, good morning, Grace. So is it really possible to save money while raising a family? This just sounds so unreal. Yeah, absolutely. It's a really daunting task. You know, we saw a study that said that it costs about a quarter of a million dollars to raise a child to 18, and that doesn't even include your college costs. Um, so it is, a, it is a big path ahead, but there are some tips that parents can do to save money. Oh, yikes. Okay, so hearing that price tag, let's try to save some money. What should we do? Okay, so the first area you can look at, um, something we all spend time and money on, which is our food budget, right? And so a big tip here is planning your meals ahead when possible, um, really going through your pantry and your fridge to figure out what supplies you have so that they're not expiring and you're kind of using what you have on hand to minimize those leaky costs that you might have to Okay, so you gotta okay. be careful <laughs> about your food and your ways because that can really add up. What else can we do, Keen? Okay, so we can pay attention to our energy costs and what you can do is do a walkthrough of your home to make sure you have energy efficient light bulbs, turn off your water heater or appliances if you're going in the kitchen. Um, and the tip that I like is if you have an air conditioning unit, make sure to clean those filters regularly so that your AC conserves more electricity and doesn't work inside. Okay, so I'm getting the idea that those small everyday savings can actually really add up. Yeah, they definitely could. Um, another area that you may see some costs is if you're in the market for a vehicle, people tend to want to buy new vehicles, which is fine. But there is often a lot of good options for used cars out there and a lot of alternate transportation options that are available to us that we can leverage during this time. All right, so those are all the practical ways that you can save money. But what about for families who want to have fun but still save money? Yes, I'm so glad you brought up fun. It's so important. And um, I've seen a lot of creative things. One of my coworkers, they'll have a movie night where they set up a projector screen in their backyard and make popcorn for the kids and it becomes kind of this at-home drive-through movie experience. So I think things like that, whether it's a movie night or game night, it really creates good memories with the family and the kids. And that's really what you're looking for is that family time versus, you know, more stuff. Yeah, it sounds awesome to me. Some great ways to save money. And you don't have to sacrifice anything, right? No, not at all. And um, it's really about building good habits and being creative. Um, making small changes that can have a difference in your finances. All right, some great advice from Keen. Thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me, Grace. And that is your Smart Money Monday.